Leslie. And I'm Ryan. And we are Love City Sailors. Uh, we wanted to apologize to you guys. Uh, we haven't really been in touch lately, but as everyone is all too aware, Hurricane Irma has devastated our beloved islands. We're safe in Kariku, Grenada right now. We're in the boatyard, um, but we're absolutely heartbroken about the news we are receiving from our island home of St. John. We've been following the progress uh, vigilantly and spending our time brainstorming ways how we can be most helpful. Uh, what we know, because we love St. John, that's our home, that's our, our work, our play, our everything. And what makes it so wonderfully unique is not just the beautiful beaches or the reefs, it's the people that make Love City so great. And they're kind, they're strong, and they're our family. It may seem overwhelming and impossible to imagine, but I know that St. John will be able to rebuild again, and I do truly, truly believe it will be better than it was before. Uh, we are planning to sail back uh, to St. John fairly soon, um, mainly for maybe an arrival date of mid-October to late October. Uh, we'll have a fully stocked boat for, of supplies, uh, we'll be able to take care of hygiene needs, all that stuff. And before we get too deep into it, I know there's a lot of people that are going to com you know, comment and say, you should not be returning back there, you're just going to be a drain. Uh, we're very mindful of that. We have our own housing, we have our own power, we have our own water, our own food. Everything that we need, uh, we're going to be bringing with us. And also enough stuff to be able to supply some other people and help others out. So don't worry about us being a net drain. We will be a net positive uh, on all the resources uh, for the islands. Okay? Uh, if you have any specific needs and you're in St. John right now, um, and will be in St. John about the time that we return, late October, um, or any specific requests, uh, I'm not talking about the, the typical stuff that you get on the Red Cross shipments and, and that, but uh, more of a personalized, specialized request, we'll be able to fulfill those. So, Hit us up at lovecitysailors at gmail.com. Also, uh, any other cruisers that plan on coming from Grenada back up to um, USVI, the BVI, anywhere in that area, even St. Martin. Uh, hit us up on lovecitysailors at gmail.com so we can get organized. We've already talked with a few people that own boats, and we're trying to get a flotilla set up, get a schedule so that boats are staggering their arrivals, so there's a constant flow of something coming in. Uh, instead of everything showing up all at once and getting depleted all at once. So we want to have uh, a nice staged delivery of resources um, for you guys. All right, so hit us up, let us know. Also, most importantly, uh, for logistics, if there's any changing, um, any situation on the ground that's changing locally, whether maybe another storm comes through and you've got flooding in certain areas, um, whatever it might be, security, um, that's a big thing. Um, I know I've got a couple of security professionals there. If you guys want to contact and make sure the security is uh, going to be safe enough for a good return, a safe return, please let us know about that. Um, we're, in the, we're in the boatyard here in Grenada. So Carrieke, Grenada, we've got paint all over us still. We just took a quick break from sanding and painting this morning to shoot this video. But we're trying to get the boat finished up and get it back in the water so we can get up there as soon as possible. We've gutted our interior. We basically turned uh, our main cabin area below decks into a place, uh, into a cargo hold. So we'll be able to pack maybe two tons of, of goods. So that's a lot uh, for a boat that's our size. I plan on bringing tools. Uh, we'll have a generator to supply power for us to operate those tools and just kind of take it step by step and get, uh, get the infrastructure rebuilt piece by piece. Um, Plumbing, I'll be bringing a water maker also. Um, ooh, speaking of water maker, um, we heard Sharky at 420. Big shout out, Sharky at 420. Thank you, Sharky, for um, everything you've done. Doing an amazing job with some people there, soup kitchen, food kitchen, and uh, taking care of people medically. So uh, we hope that continues, and we want to basically use our water maker to supply up to 60 gallons an hour um, to that effort. If that's, not, uh, if that's more than what's needed, then anything over that, we would love to offer to the people, you know, locals, to bring their own water jugs, and we'll fill, you fill up. it up, you know, fill, top you off uh, with potable drinking water, and we can pull that out of the most dirty, murky bay anywhere. So, 
Uh, we'll probably set up shop on our mooring and uh, maybe maybe uh, spin around and run a stern and anchor towards the beach and send the water by hose straight over to 420. Uh, if that's okay with you, Sharky, but please, like I say, we haven't been able to contact you personally directly, so hit us up at lowcitysailors at gmail.com or hit us up on Facebook also. Uh, but that's that's pretty much it, guys. We feel terrible about what's going on. I personally feel terrible that I'm not there to actually help with the rebuilding at this point in time. Uh, but I also know that it's important not to rush into something um, too soon. So we've got a good plan. We've got a bunch of good people here already starting to collect supplies. Uh, there's a good effort going on down here in Grenada. So we'll be there soon, guys. We will be there. So just hang on. And hopefully we can turn St. John back into what it was. We love you, St. John. We're thinking of you. Um, I think the best news I received through all of this was that all of our friends were safe. Um, and we can rebuild. It can be rebuilt. And we will be there to help you soon. So stay strong, stay together, be kind to one another, and help whenever you can. Love you.